The giant house spider is a large species of spider that lives in Europe, Central Asia and North Africa. Although it was accidentally introduced to the northwest of North America due to shipping activity. Here in the UK, this is one of the biggest spider species, with females' body sizes reaching 18mm and a leg span of 45mm. The males have a slightly smaller body of 15mm but can grow to have huge leg spans of 75mm. This makes the giant house spider the second biggest spider in the UK, only overshadowed by the cardinal spider, which can reach even bigger sizes. This can be a shock to some people living in the UK as it's generally assumed that the spiders over here are quite small. For arachnophobes, the giant house spider tends to be one of the spiders they are most afraid of. Because the spider is not only quite large but can move its big hairy booty at record breaking speeds. The giant house spider used to hold the Guinness world record for the fastest spider in the world. It was only overtaken by the camel spider in 1987 which isn't fair considering the camel spider is not even a spider. So really the giant house spider is still the fastest spider in the world running half a meter a second. Fuck. As the name suggests, the giant house spider is commonly found in people's homes. It likes to hide in dark corners that are unfrequently disturbed, such as attics, basements, garages and sheds. Although this spider can still be found in a lot of places outside, such as within bushes or in the cracks of walls or fences. A giant house spider's web is sheet-like and has a funnel at one end where the spider resides. Unlike a lot of spider's webs, the giant house spider's web does not contain sticky strands meaning that it is not particularly good at immobilizing prey. Instead, once the giant house spider senses prey through the vibrations on its web, it uses its immense speed and its sheer mass to quickly run out and overpower the prey. So, after seeing this, you might be wondering if these spiders are dangerous to you. Well. The giant house spider does have large and powerful jaws and like all spiders, they have a venomous bite. This venom paralyzes their prey, turns their insides to mush and then the spider can suck out their juices like a smoothie. Also, the giant house spider is one of the few spiders in the UK with fangs long enough to penetrate human skin. However, none of this means that the giant house spider is dangerous to humans. In fact, they're not at all dangerous to us. It is virtually impossible to provoke this spider to bite you. When threatened by something large like a human, this spider only wants to run away. Even so, if a giant house spider were to somehow bite you, its venom is too weak to have any serious effect on a human. Although, it definitely wouldn't feel good. If you do see what you think is a giant house spider in your house, you might be able to identify it by its brown earthy coloration, spotted pattern on the abdomen and long legs in relation to the body. It's quite common to find the spider stuck in the bath, giant house spiders are not great climbers and cannot make their way up the slippery sides. Despite having 8 eyes, they're next to useless as the giant house spider's vision is so bad it can likely only distinguish between light and dark. This isn't enough for the spider to be able to tell when a large animal is looming. Therefore, a giant house spider will likely try to run away if you suddenly cast your shadow over it. If you do have to deal with one, I'd ask that you don't smoosh it. Instead, use a container and a piece of card to capture the spider and release it outside. These spiders do a good job of regulating fly populations, and like I said, they're completely harmless to us. Giant house spiders more frequently enter people's homes in September through to early October. This is the spider's mating season, when the males leave their webs in search of a female. This is why you'll more often find a male wandering across the floor as opposed to the females which stay on their webs. Once the male finds the web of a female, he'll perform something similar to a mating dance, which will hopefully convince the female to mate with him. If the female is not interested, she will attack him, scaring him away or she'll possibly even eat him. If it's a successful mate, the female will lay an egg sac and she'll cover it in pieces of dirt to protect it. Even if the female isn't successfully mated, she can still lay unfertilized eggs like a chicken. <laughs> However, these unfertilized eggs will not hatch. But if the eggs are fertilized 
and do hatch, hundreds of baby spiders called spiderlings will emerge. In this species I don't believe the spiderlings typically eat the mother like some other spider species. The spiderlings will then disperse creating their own little webs and feeding on tiny invertebrates. Of course many of them won't make it to adulthood as it takes a year just to reach half their fully grown size. Throughout this period they will molt 8 or 9 times so if you see a big boy you know it's came a long way. They typically live up to 2 or 3 years. To conclude, giant house spiders are a very successful spider species, they have healthy populations and are widely distributed, they're also one of my favourite spiders. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned something. Let me know if you like this style of video and if you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe for more spider savagery.